thanks for taking the time to do the interview. Uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Simon, by the way. Maybe we could just start with introducing yourself. Tell us a bit about yourself, where you're from, how long you've been trading, that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm Roman. I'm from Ukraine, and I have been trading for approximately, I don't know, maybe five or six years mm -hmm. already. But I start uh, with crypto, and currently I'm focused only on Forex. Okay, all right. So you move from crypto to Forex mainly, what, because of yeah, the... Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Volatility in crypto died down a little bit, didn't it? And then you moved to FX, did you? Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So what are you trading in FX? Uh, currently, I'm focused only on euro dollar. And most of all, uh, maybe I I could take, I guess, for example, GPB USD or uh, okay. maybe even gold. It depends, okay. really depends on market. When, for example, euro is choppy, I may take uh, gold, for example, mm -hmm. and other ways. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, the usual pairs, I guess, the usual yeah, yeah, pairs. Commonly, yeah, yeah, common, really yeah, common. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, how do you trade those? Are you a uh, day trader, swing trader? Uh, currently, I am day trader. Uh, okay. And I, I may say that I could like take an even swing trader, for example, but uh, not really um, common for me that. Not really common for me to take a swing trade. No, okay. More of a lower time frame trade, okay. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. In and out in a day, that kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Usual stuff. Okay. How are you finding funded <laughs> next? You happy with them? Yeah. Yep, yep, completely. Um, good spreads on Euro dollar, right? Already yeah. Yep. Yeah, I said good spreads on Euro dollar, especially. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. That's completely fine. Great for day trading. Um, all right. Maybe you could uh, share a screen, possibly show us a. Uh, how you trade? What's your? Uh, yeah, for sure. Trade. Currently, I have like uh, one position. Yeah, we can see your dollar on the five. Uh, yeah. yeah, for me, it's uh, important to understand where is liquidity runs and where the price will go the next. So currently, I have a position. I'm in long. Uh, so I saw in the morning um, that we grab this liquidity here, okay. and yep. I I saw the perfect reaction for me. So we here see the move with imbalances. Uh, mm -hmm. So after that, we have another grab of liquidity and we see the market here. And so I took the my long approximately in this area. We'll start with that. And currently I'm expecting that the price will go to take uh, sell side liquidity here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you may see, uh, we have a lot of equal low, equal highs. Yeah, I'm just yeah. right to where is liquidity is. So that okay. is the my uh, main setup mm. and okay. what I trade. So, interesting. So it looks like your, uh, well, ICT, I guess, would be the best. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to implement my, uh, not mine, but ICT's uh, exactly yeah. concepts. Yeah, okay. So, truly the open. best, I guess, is the best like strategy and the best uh, way to trade this market and I guess all assets. Yeah, no, ICT works well with your dollar and well, actually, yeah, a lot of yeah. um, so you're looking to, I see you got a true day open, so I guess that's midnight. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm true. using yeah. like uh, New York local time, mm -hmm. so that's why it's for me important, like for two o'clock uh, below the true daily open and for example, taking short uh, above, above the, the true daily open. open. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. yeah. So I mean, you see the open, yeah. So it took out. So that's the uh, that's the fifteen minute, isn't it? So yeah. you're looking for it to yeah. take out yesterday's low, ideally. Uh, yesterday highs. Yeah, yesterday's low. Yesterday's highs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have been taking like yesterday's lows, low. Mm -hmm. One yeah. of them, because if we look in daily chart, so we might see uh, like choppy. So I have to change like brokers here. And see previous daily low. I'm not sure that we will take tomorrow, no, today, or that's tomorrow. Pretty, that's pretty low, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we have a lot of buy side liquidity here. Yeah, a lot yeah, of. Looks, looks like we should run. But a bit still, higher. we have yeah. keep in mind that we are not in a trend. We may like take, uh, I don't know, even uh, let me show you if we'll see. Currently, we will take the range here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, even not this one, but this low. So currently we uh, we are still in this range, so I could even expect like 
So we today or tomorrow go higher, higher. So it depends. We will stay here for a long time, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Consolidate around equilibrium. Yeah, and maybe, yeah exactly. maybe finally push. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I have to be like um, yeah. really careful about this because mm -hmm. it may be stopped out easily. Yeah. Especially early in the week, especially on Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Like this. Exactly. yeah. Do you have a favorite day of the week? Do you, you expect bigger moves on uh, later in the week? I guess my luckiest day, I may say my luckiest day is sort of the, I don't know why, but the most my like profitable trades are on sort of the, it's really funny, it was the other day I to tell you that, what? but it's true, I don't day? know why. What day did you say? Uh, Thursday. Thursday, oh okay, yeah, yeah, Thursdays are always good, Thursdays tend to be, uh, depending obviously what Monday, Tuesday did and Wednesday did, but Thursdays can be a very aggressive day. If, yeah, if, li exactly. if liquidity is uh, available. Um, yeah, okay. So it looks like you're looking at essentially daily liquidity pools. What, those green, uh, blue, and red lines, what are those? Are they daily highs and lows or what? I know it's my currently like indicator for the session. So we have Asian ah, range here in yeah. London and New York sessions. New York, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you'll, you'll trade those liquidity pools as well? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I mostly I see like uh, I don't even like uh, take many attention to them like uh, for example it's London low or London high or New York low or New York high it's obvious like we <laughs> to grab them if it's obvious so it's it's mm -hmm. obvious mm -hmm. so it really doesn't depend for me it doesn't really matter for me. with regards to sort of analysis what are your key time frames you're using sort of daily and one hour I'm starting with one week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Starting with one week and lower, 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 lower. Uh, for example, for me, if I'm if we're talking, talking about like liquidity pools, so for me, it's important to see in hourly chart, I guess, or even daily chart. So I need to classify like the daily range. Mm -hmm. For me, it high and low. Then I uh, go to four hour, for example, see the liquidity pools here. Mm -hmm. And go lower, lower, lower. For entry, I'm using like mostly five minutes or even less, or one minute in the answers or the box, yeah. or uh, like say to buy more for and all this stuff. So, did you say you're already in a long here? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm already took my position to break even. Uh, so, it will be somewhere here because currently I don't really like this move. Yeah, because we have like kind of friction in this imbalance. So I'm yeah. not sure that we will take like buy side like sell side liquidity for now. Mm -hmm. You see the reaction here is not yeah. good for long selling. Not really, no. A little early yeah. as well, I suppose. What is it? Still only yeah. five sixteen in New York. Yeah. yeah. And if we like took this range so we can see that we are in premium, so I wanna if uh, yeah. I can put even here, so I wanna something like yeah. that. Yeah, and try to find this yeah. in this area in yeah. discount in a kind of song. Yeah. Pull back into discount, look for some kind of pull the sell side down there and then push. Yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Cool. Maybe early open, maybe eight thirty, nine thirty. Uh I don't know if there's uh, any data today, but uh, uh if we're talking about like New York local time, so I'm currently testing like a uh, new strategy for me, new way for me, and new setup for me. It's like uh, a OTE for my city. I have, to, I have a look for you know all the all his videos, mm -hmm. and currently I'm testing this strategy. I'm mm -hmm. not really sure that I'm um, could currently classify it correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so I'm trying now to look at that because the market is really choppy for now. So you can see there are no like power to go higher and go lower. So we mm. just ranges, 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 ranges. Yeah. And you know, maybe two weeks already. Yeah, the market and just seems a little bit choppy. Yeah, we are coming yeah, into the summer yeah. months. So summer months tend to, we had a big run in equities. So I don't really know. Uh, let's see what happens. Huh? Elections yeah. as well this year. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All around the world. Like, That's all world put, currently choppy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So put you. I mean, depending on what the election results are, it could be a lot of pressure on the uh, on the foreign currencies. So euro could yeah, go lower. And Dixie as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Um, so I'm still expecting the Dixie go higher from this. Yeah. Well, yeah. our imbalance. Yeah. Yeah. DXY definitely bullish. 
um, yeah, should, should push euro lower, definitely. Uh, uh, and the election in France might be the the catalyst to do that. Um, yeah. Okay. What sort of risk are you putting on these trades? You, you, what are you looking at? One trade a day, something like that? Is that your average? Uh, it really depends uh, on the market. If I could see like one trade or two trade, I will do them. Yeah. That's all. So it really depends on the market. There's nothing to say more because uh, I have been without any trade for uh, maybe half a week or week. Yeah, approximately. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. It was my like normal risk, but I'm trying to implement new strategy and uh, I'm trying to like reduce my risk to I don't know point two percent or point three percent. That's all. So you're risking how much per trade, sir? Zero point three, zero point two percent. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what that's what I thought you said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought you said th <laughs> I was worried you said three percent for a minute. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. It's, uh, I could take like two percent on swing trade. Yeah, mm, that's maximum. That's my maximum. Yeah. Okay. And after first loss, for example, I always reduce my risk in half. So you risk Yeah. Could you be to break even? Break even. Yeah. Could you be to yeah. break even? Yeah. 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 So okay. here. Yeah. Well, well managed. Uh, okay. So this, yeah. This, um, so you're funded with Funded Next, or are you? Yeah, I'm you're already going funded. A challenge. You are funded. Yeah. No, okay. no, what, I'm already funded. Yeah. Okay. Are you happy with the payout speeds and things like that? Yeah, that's amazing. So that's really amazing because like, the fastest payout I ever get, I have ever got. Okay, great. Day. Really, nine yeah. hours, I guess. Yeah. Nine hours. Wow, that's good. Yeah, nine hours, that's perfect, I guess. Right. That's the fastest we have, it's really. I think that we pride ourselves on that, so that's something you can. Yeah. Are you happy with that? So, all right. So, what would you say? You, I mean, you can stop sharing your screen if you wish. We don't need to. Oh, okay. Thanks for, um, thanks for sharing the strategy. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say was the turning point in your trading? What, where did you become profitable? Where did you become able to pass a challenge? What was that? Uh, I must say that it's really hard way, especially for me, because uh, I have been working like a SQI engineer, quality assurance mm -hmm. engineer, mm -hmm. and I understood for me that isn't enough, and I'm not extremely interested in this. Uh, so it was like key level for me, first key level. The next key level, uh, it was like studying, 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 studying. Mm -hmm. and trying to implement this uh, in like real market, not big testing, but in real market. Mm -hmm. uh, and it took me, I don't know, maybe a year and a half to be profitable, mm -hmm. uh, even good. to pass my first challenge. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my first company was uh, my Forex funds. That has been closed already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess they, this was my next key level when I understood that I need to find out like the uh, reliable company that I could work with. Because, mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of prop firms and other prop firms that are already has been closed to and closed. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a volatile uh, industry yeah. at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess these three key levels. It was for me. Mm, good stuff. All right. So, you, I mean, from a studying perspective, you're talking about technical analysis and learning ICT concepts. That yeah, but if you, let me say, like my first, even crypto trading, I was still in the university studying, and I took my way with like technical analysis and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm really not. I'm really try to like implement them in my trading for two years, maybe, maybe a year and a half approximately. But then I understood that they, this will never work for me. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know like profitable traders that are managing with them the, with technical analysis and they are profitable, but that stuff not for me. Mm -hmm. So then I'm really decided to find out. So I'm here. Um, I even didn't know about ICT till the last year. 
approximately, mm-hmm. or maybe two years, because uh, we have for because I took like education in my country. Uh, they were using his stuff, but I was not really interested. But then I discovered for me mm-hmm. all this stuff. Yeah, and I'm trying now for using his 2022 model. That's perfect yeah. for me. Yeah, 2022 FEG return to origin. Very good yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a, a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a nice strategy. It's it's a con, it's a con, it's a culmination it's of a lot of his concepts. Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. Uh, it's a nice package to start with. It's um, uh, important to understand why, like, the logic of price moves. That's mm-hmm. the most important thing. Yeah, exactly, and that's a good introduction to it. Yeah, great. All right. Um, okay, Roman. Um, thanks for your time. Um, good luck with the funded accounts and. Um, Thank you. Yeah, glad you're happy with funded next on the spreads and uh, yeah, continue. Fastest payout. <laughs> Fastest payout in the world. Yeah, great. Good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you All very right. much. Speak to you again. See you. Bye. See you. Bye.